Hey guys, Nick V here at DDRV in Southern California. That's Dennis Dillon RV in Westminster, Orange County. We have Class A's, Class B, Class C, Super C's, Class T for trailers, just about the whole alphabet. So today I've got the 2023 and the 2024 26 DBH Grey Wolf. This is the Cherokee line and from the outside you can see it's pretty much still the same thing at least on the outside. We got a, a few facelifts on the inside, a uh, little aesthetic differences. Uh, so I'm gonna go over the 23 first, do all around uh, throughout in and out, outside, backwards, upwards, upside down, everything. And then we'll do the 2024 to see the real differences. Uh, the first thing that I wanna point out are these latches that Cherokee has been using for a long time. They're a simple latch. Now, these kind of latches are just fine, but after a few years, they do tend to break. Um, so you can always upgrade to those magnetic ones, which they actually did for 2024. Um, standard you're going to have your under bed storage. So in there, you'll see that you have storage under the bed that's accessible from the inside. Here's your solar charge controller. Of course you have solar up top and a light right here, which isn't working, yay. So moving on here, we have the, uh, you know, the, the Wolf logo, which uh, if you can, bear, you can't really see it. It's daytime, but it's a little light that places the logo on the bottom floor. Uh, one cool thing that they started doing are these drop down stabilizers. So before you had to crank it all the way down and crank it all the way up. Now you just release this pin, it falls to the ground and then you put it black back in place and you uh, then, uh, you know, keep cranking this just a little bit more to get it in place and strong and sturdy. That way you're not cranking it all the way down. So that's an awesome addition that they did in 2023. Um, I'm gonna start here with the front. Of course, you still have your electric tongue. You get two propane tanks in the front and you have your tankless water heater, the best addition that they had to the 2023 models. So now you can take longer, hotter showers, conserve more water. Speaking of showers, you have your outdoor hot and cold shower. So I want you to pay attention here now to the slide out. Of course, you have your Schwintech technology, all four rails up, down, left, right on all four sides. Um, so uh, these are longer lasting, they have less problems, etc., etc. But of course, if you speak to anybody that's ever had a slide out in their past before, they may say that they've had issues with them or their friends had issues, etc. Um, well, there's just less issues with these. And there's always a pro and con to all the different sorts, but these ones are tried and true. They've been around for a long time. So what I wanted you to pay attention to is this thermofoil situation they have on the slide out because they made a different change for the 2024. Uh, bringing it around to the back, we got access uh, window, which is technically an exit window from that lower bunk. Of course, not the same for the top bunk, so kids won't be falling out the window. Uh, you have an extra little storage underneath that bottom bunk as well and you'll see there you have a little access door or I'm sorry a little access area that is actually the door that is open for the bathroom uh, so you have now access under the bed for the rear and the front bringing around back these ones are specked out with the rack in the back that are good for about 200 pounds uh, the tire itself is about 50 and of course backup camera up there I'm sure you can see it What's awesome about the backup camera is that it's already included and it Bluetooths to your phone and they have back there, you can see the area to attach the ladder. So bringing us back around to the front, of course, you got your outdoor marine speakers, you have your TV mount, same on the inside, so you can take the same TV, uh, flip it out from the inside and just tie it right back in here to the outside so you don't have to have different mounts, you could use one TV. Uh, Wolf Pup is great at giving you the outdoor mini fridge and in the kitchenette if you get the larger models. Uh, this one, of course, is the 2060 BH and it has a scan code. So if you have a smartphone and you walk up to it, you can just 
act like you're gonna take a picture of it and it'll open the link and give you um, some basic details on the model but they're usually here as well so in this case I know it's sideways I'm not gonna turn the camera sideways but dry weight 6400 pounds just shy of and a total length of 32 feet 2 inches now you may be asking why does it say 26 isn't it supposed to be 26 feet in length and it's 32 and 2 in well 32 feet and 2 inches is tip of the tongue to the back of the bumper 26 may or may not be the floor length of the trailer itself and of course you had box length because you know it sticks out just a little bit so now we're looking at it 26 it's not gonna be 26 exactly it could be 26 and a half feet it could be around 26 feet the point is 32 feet 2 inches total exact tip of the tongue back of the bumper don't forget that because not all those brands those numbers don't mean anything anymore they might mean a little bit and give you an idea but it's not quite there you usually want to add four to six or something to that number to get the real length of most, most trailers now dbh stands for double bunk house bunk house so it's a bunk house model and dbh means double bunks means the bunks are larger anyways what's awesome about uh, the gray wolf and wolf pups and all the Cherokee line is that they give you a hot and cold shower on the outside and usually up here in a kitchen area you'll have a water port just simple water well they gave you hot and cold and then they give you another shower head so you could technically take a shower in the front or wash your hands or whatever a little more effectively here so it's kind of neat now you've got a hot and cold shower on the outside of both sides ice maker of course mini fridge and this is the griddle grill combo the grill attachment it's usually there in the front underneath that storage all right bringing it on in Ooh, pretty now one thing that i really like about the cherokee line is your cherokee total control every single trailer you ever walked into will have a control panel for lights and awning and slide etc etc and you can check your tanks and they're full or not full battery etc but this one you can Bluetooth to your phone. So everything that you can do on here, you can do with your phone while you're hanging out at the campsite over there by the fire. You can put the side in and out, awning in and out. If it gets too windy, lights on, off, etc. That's pretty nifty. I really like that. Uh, also a uh, battery voltage meter, which I think is pretty nifty. So we have an electric fireplace, which is LED fire. It's not real fire. Don't worry, you're not gonna burn down your trailer. Um, essentially that's a small space heater so if it's chilly enough to where you don't want to turn on the furnace you turn this on and it will be a small space heater and it will you know heat up this area nicely and get it nice and toasty you got your Bluetooth uh, radio stereo as well and this is where it says TV backer they would put that they give you a mount like the one that's outside you put it here that way you can slide it out and put it outside and you got your connections here and if you really wanted a TV inside your room as well they also give you this port so that you can have a TV on the other side plug it in here now there isn't exactly the most ideal mounting situation because these doors they're like pocket doors although there's no pocket but they're sliding doors but they slide all the way and they touch so if you wanted a TV mount you'd probably have to like have it a little open like that and the doors wouldn't open all the way maybe not a big deal but if you hate that and don't want it well then don't put a TV inside your master bedroom or at least not there uh, so you have your uh, one touch lights all these all these lights are LED and you can turn them off and on and when you turn your whole coach off and then back on again it will say that setting so this light will still be off if i were to turn the entire coach off and on uh you got the his and her closet left and right and a little overhead storage as well so the bed you can lift up the front end of it and you can see that you have this storage back here which you know allows you to, to kind of get in there and access to some extra things now look at this they gave you an inverter another addition for the 2023 models that way if you have something that's really important you don't want to go off like a CPAP machine or something so you got USB ports over here as well as an inverter for that really important something and on this side of course you got regular plugs and the uh, outlets over there as well 
By the way, this thing that says driven habits or whatever, that is a mount for a portable speaker, which you buy separately. I've never seen it in person. If you do have one, let me know if you like it. Uh, most people have their own portable speakers now. Okay, bringing it around. So the 26 DVH model gives you the couch and the dinette in the slide out. And I want you to pay attention to the colors here. This is black fascia. See, they in 23, they went with these more maple colors. It used to be all black. And they kind of kept that here for the slide out. And I want you to pay attention because it changes for 2024 model. Uh, this is a jackknife couch, meaning you just lift it simply and there's a little storage underneath for blankets or something. That turns into a bunk. And of course, every dinette you've ever seen in any trailer will also turn into a bed. So what I really like about this is you got whole long storage. So even though this one has, this model has a pantry, this can essentially be your pantry if you want to, or you know, stuff the kids in there. Just kidding. Don't take me seriously. Okay. Here's the pantry. Lots of space. Isn't that awesome? With its own door. And of course, you get the Cherokee line 11 cubic foot fridge, gigantic fridge. This same fridge they have in their largest models, Cherokees, and their smallest models, the Wolf Pup. So you get the same size 11 cubic foot fridge, which is 12 volt, by the way, meaning you don't have to use propane uh, to run it. It runs off of your battery power and it gets cold in about 15 minutes instead of taking overnight to get cold. So that leaves you with more propane for cooking. This one comes with an oven uh, or, you know, cooking outside barbecue or your heater or your water heater, etc. So you have a residential design farmhouse sink. Ooh. And this removes, ooh, with a removable spout. How pretty. It's kind of hard to do one headed, but okay, got it. Now, if you're not using your sink, they give you more counter space with this surface area. And same here, if you're not cooking, now you got counter space. Pretty awesome. I like that they thought of that. If I had one thing to add, if it were me, I'd add slots here so I can have a cutting board holder like they do in the Surveyor, I think it is. Uh, some other brands, which are also Forest River. Um, I don't know. There might be some lines back there, so maybe stabbing a knife through there might not be a good idea, but it's been done, is what I mean. Uh, microwave, regular microwave, nothing too special there. And bringing it around to the bunk. So each bunk has their own USB port and their light. So you got your light right here and USB port. That's pretty nifty. And there we are looking at it from the other side when we were out there earlier. So that's your full access. So I guess if you really wanted to, you could probably put the nose of a kayak canoe all along this floor, if you were so inclined. All right, so one cool thing is the Max Air fan. Giant fan, about, you know, larger than my hand. They're usually a tiny one that's about a third of the size. So that's pretty awesome that they included that for you. Oh, I messed up my gimbal on my GoPro. Now it's waking out. It wants to look up. Okay, how do I fix this? Maybe if I go like this uh, and turn it or something. Left and right, so it resettles. Nope, it's going up. All right, I broke it. I got to reset it. While we're looking up, hey, there's a skylight in the shower. So if you're a tall guy and you stand in the shower, which raises it up a few inches, that means your head won't be rubbing the ceiling while you take a shower. How convenient is that? How nice of them to think of that. All right, I got to reset my gimbal. Hold on. Okie dokie. Are we still recording? Yes, we are. All right, so I got that situation fixed. Now I'm on the outside. So what's cool about this is you get a separate door for the restroom. That way the kids or people, you know, can come in and out and not get the whole trailer dirty. What's kind of nifty is it comes with its own uh, light switch for the lights in here. Medicine cabinet for all your medicines. And so you got this cool little shower tub shub situation going on. So it is a step up. So for some people, that's a problem. That's really kind of common. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out is your AC that's up here. That's a 13,500 BTU AC. That same AC is across their whole line from the smallest to the largest. Now, in this case, because you have a separate bedroom, it is vented. So you'll see these vents right here, which are directional, kind of like an airport or airplane. 
I guess airport might have to write. Anyways, like an airplane, you know, airplanes have that. So you got one up here. I forgot to mention that earlier. And, oh, I didn't turn on these lights. So another thing I want you to pay attention to is this cabinet here. They give you this uh, kind of glass door situation because that's different in the 2024 model as well. Bringing it back to the 2024 model of the 26 DBH. Everything on the outside pretty much looks exactly the same. Same uh, rims essentially, or at least rim options. Uh, same fascia, same uh, drop down stabilizer, same awning, etc, etc, etc. Same, same, same on the outside, but different. So that cheap uh, plastic latch no longer. Now they gave you ooh, magnetic latches, hands free. One hand, you don't have to hold it and try and you just slip it up. Pretty nifty, huh? So in the front, uh, same situation here, electric tongue jack. Pretty wonderful. Comes with a tiny little light. It's really cute. Let's turn on. Oh, look at the light. Two propane tanks. It's the kinds that are small that you can switch out at any store. That's where the battery goes. There's none now at the moment. Same tankless water heater. Same outdoor shower. And look. Oh. So now on the slide out, they changed to the cable. Ooh. Ah. And of course, most importantly, I think the best. Um, feature of this is that they now gave you hung walls so they give you the fiberglass outside instead of just that thermofoil which is kind of weak this is it's not strongest but it's a lot more sturdy than that previous one was so that's that's a major difference that we can spot right off the bat is the slide it's white we know that it's a 2024 model uh, everything else remains the same out here still comes with the rack still comes with backup camera and that ladder attachment up there Which is pretty nifty. I think in my opinion black tank flush is on this side uh, Kind of interesting some some models will have it on the other side with everything else But um, on this one they did they both have black tank flush by the way, which I didn't mention earlier, but uh, it's on this side Not the other side just so you know and they give you this cool little bump stop for the door so it's not slamming into anything now it's supposed to be uh, a static door so wherever you put it that's where you're gonna stay but if you are gonna use all your might to throw it open at least it's got this bump stop here which is nice i think uh and the you know the same ones over there on the 2023 so that's not new but it's it's a nice addition all right so coming in let's see the differences Ooh, i turned on the electric fireplace for you ah which you can uh, change the fire, you press this fire button, it'll change the color, pretty nifty I think. That turns the temperature and there's some other settings that I really don't want to mess with right now. Now, look at this, you have this, ooh, this nice fascia here. You can do that all day long, imagine what the kids would do. No, I'm just kidding, kids are down here. I guess I'll just do it now. So that'll get annoying real quick if you got little kids. Over here in the master bedroom where all the magic happens, everything is the same. No big differences here. You still got your uh, inverter for your uh, CPAP machine, etc. Same uh, connections over there, same storage, etc. etc. Now, remember when I told you to remember the black fascia here on the slide out? So they changed to this, uh, you know, this, this gray brown color and it's all seamless. Just a little more clean looking, I think. Um, that's just my opinion. Uh, they have the same thing back here as well matching so they didn't have that previous. Um, these by the way, which I didn't mention before, are the zebra blinds. Can you guess why they're called zebra blinds? Uh, so what's probably cool about these is if you wanted it completely black out and you just want to add some light, you don't have to lift the whole thing up, you just adjust it slightly and it changes your light. So you can let in however much light you want. You're like, okay, I want this part, like the sun's coming in right here, so you can black out that half. So I think that's really neat. It's really multi-adjustable. All these windows open, by the way, which is fantastic. Keeps a nice breeze going through. Uh, this is similar, same sink situation going on here. Uh, now look at that, that's different. So earlier, the 2023 20, model had the microwave right here. Now you get more storage and it's got this uh, metal mesh situation going on um, and no microwave but they and no oven. Now they gave you a, a convection microwave air fryer. So you can do everything that you can do with an oven 
with the convection as well as air fryer. So those are the major kitchen updates situation with the, the oven instead for the 2023. And now this one has that and that fascia up here. So it's a little different there. Same fridge, nothing to worry about there. Same dinette, uh, same color scheme in the fabrics, um, same color scheme in the woods, but just, you know, a few small aesthetic differences. I think that looks really nice. It's white. Of course, that'll get dirty real quick. But, you know, when it's your trailer, paint it whatever color you want. Same pantry. Ooh. Ah, pantry. Same bunk situation over here. Nothing different. Nothing changed over there. Same giant Max Air fan, which I'm not going to point it directly up so it won't mess up my gimbal again. Same uh shower situation going on with the skylight up above uh, i'm not the tallest guy i'm five seven so if you're six two six six two ish you could probably fit i'd assume um but you know we're guys we don't care we're gonna be crouching anyways uh, the giants can take a shower outside how about that feature wise not a huge difference mostly aesthetic except of course for the slide out which some people are fanatic about they hate certain slide outs so that one's the cable method very reliable um they are used on i've seen them on giant fifth wheels with weight bearing slide outs so they should be trustworthy i think but other than that everything is the same i almost forgot one other major update the control panel is no longer all electric you just have your regular buttons so you no longer have the one control bluetooth controller whereas the 2023 did so uh, i'd say pro there's always pros and cons it's a electronic piece of equipment that can fail so it's one less electronic thing to fail especially these where it's important so it's better to have individual buttons versus the convenience of being campsite and being able to put in the slide which who knows how many people actually use maybe they loved it maybe they didn't i don't know maybe they're just okay with it and never bothered but uh that's the other main difference so to recap the main differences for the 2023 2024 model is you got your convection microwave air fryer instead of an oven and a microwave a few aesthetic differences as seen here uh no big deal right there right there and of course, the slide out itself has hung fiberglass wall with the cable system instead of the Schwintech. And of course, your magnetic latches, which I think is fantastic. Finally, they did it, I'm glad. Well, there you have it. That should be all the updates. Tell Thank me you. what you think, what you like about it, what you don't like about it. If you hate my video, hate my voice, it doesn't matter. Let me know. Good to have you all here. Holy cow, it's blinding. Let's try that Good again. to have you here. I uh, appreciate the feedback, if any. And if not, just be a silent watcher. You creep. Just kidding. Take care.